Hey, how's the end of the world going? Did you just cough? Coronavirus! Hey, Corona! Good morning and welcome back to my life. Hi. If you've never been here before, this is my life. And uh, so welcome if it's, it's your first time. I'm gonna keep this short because I have a rambling problem. <laughs> It's a real problem, rambleitis. Because it is, in fact, you know, crazy times, crazy times, and you know, everybody has discovered the cure to coronavirus's toilet roll. I'm doing a service, a public service for all of the people out there who are struggling to get their hands on the cure. I'm gonna give you five alternatives to toilet roll. I'm bringing you the information that everybody needs and I'm doing it free of charge. You're welcome. Number one, if you can't get your hands on toilet roll and you have kitchen roll in the house, even though toilet roll is being sold out everywhere, there is sometimes kitchen roll. It's paper. It's in a roll. It's very similar to the native toilet roll. If you do use kitchen roll, it's a lot bulkier than the normal toilet roll. So you want to make sure it's safe to put it down the toilet. Is kitchen roll a thing in other countries? We have roll a roll of paper that we keep in our kitchen for like spillages or whatever, right? It's multi-purpose and we call it kitchen roll. So just check you don't block your toilet because we've all been there <laughs> where you go to the toilet and uh, <clears throat> you feel relieved because you've, you've gotten it out of your system. You've done the dude and then you're like now the toilet is is blocked you have to make the soul crushing decision of whether or not you're gonna put your hand down the toilet with a glove to unclog it or use one of them thing why would you ever put your hand down the toilet i know but i'm sure you've all been there where the thing is not doing the job i mean i'm not saying i've been there none of this is based on a real life story kitchen roll number one number two if you don't have any kitchen roll and you don't have any toilet roll then you know don't panic never fear i am here for your toilet roll suggestions you can in fact use a towel a flannel which is a face cloth any old cloth will do to be honest you can cut it into pieces and you can like you know get yourself a little plastic bag to put it in afterwards and you can either burn it if you don't want to burn it <laughs> and i wouldn't blame you if, you if you did want to burn it then you can put it in the washing machine on a very scorching high like hotter than satan and hell itself to scorch it of the germs then reuse them so that's that's always an option if you don't for some reason have a towel a flannel or a cloth then are you a caveman if you're a cave person or a savage and you don't have towels flannels or cloths which are some of the same things you could use socks socks are again another piece of material i'm not saying that i have ever used a sock when i have run out of toilet roll and i've had a pee that is an option and 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 you can do that and, and it works i've heard from a reliable source from a friend i'm assuming even though you may not have a towel or a flannel or a cloth you might have socks on your feet but then again you might just be a sockless, a towelless savage. Number four, if you do not have any of the above, kitchen roll, towels, socks, then I'm kind of wondering if you would have a shower at this point, but you can wash with a shower. I know, it is a shocking revelation that not many people have thought of. You do your business, be it number one or number two, or number three, which is one and two together, I believe. When you finished, you know, and you, you're quite satisfied that you're finished with the toilet segment have the shower running it's probably best to, to run the shower whilst you're doing your thing it has to be a smooth operation you know you don't want any spillages when you hop into the shower get the shower and you rinse yourself off where you need to and there's also soap in the in the in the shower usually shower gel shower stuff it's probably healthier for your um backside of your bits and uh so yeah number four wash with the shower if you're a boy you don't really have the problem of the number one you only have the problem of the number two because boys they shake it off right number four wash with the shower number five wear a nappy i mean i've never tried this one and i mean I've, i have done because we've we've all been babies once desperate times desperate measures you could wear a nappy but then even if you did wear a nappy you'd still have the the issue of of cleaning yourself up. Maybe just strike the nappy one off. That just seemed like a good idea at the time. I was just spitballing ideas. I saved the best to last for you. If 
For some reason, you find yourself in the situation, shockingly, where you have neither kitchen roll, towels, flannels, cloths, socks, or a shower, or a nappy, then, I mean, I'm not sure where the hell you are, but if you have access to a garden, or you are, in fact, in nature, you could use Mother Nature herself's leaves. But you might want to ask permission, because I think she's pissed off at the moment, and I've heard a suspicion, but it might be wrong, that... Uh, she sent out the uh, coronavirus. So I'm not sure if you want to piss her off more by getting the leaves, because I'm just saying we're already in the middle of one epidemic. That, that was my six methods, I think I told you um, in the end, of what to use if you have no toilet roll. Yes. Let me know how these methods work out for you. And um, good luck. Um, hopefully Mother Nature will not be so pissed off at us soon and we can all resume. Keep your toilet roll safe and your dogs and family safer. Goodbye!